Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narrowgate Channel, another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narrowgate Channel. Let us learn together. It's operation. Give Jesus your 100%. 2022 is no retreat, no surrender. We are fighting for what, beloved? Asijiki, Aruhumeli Muraho. Christ ahead of us, the world behind us. He's teaching us how to live as his disciples. Holiness that pleases him. His standard, not our standard standard. May his name be glorified. We serve a king, beloved, the great I am, powerful God, the one and only risen king. In him are hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom. The honors lies on us, beloved, as individuals. Are we going to hear Ken and heed his warnings and embrace his love as he's preparing us for his coming, ushering us to his kingdom. Glory to his precious name. Hallelujah. We continue, beloved. I'm going to share with you some secrets of the enemy that our father has revealed hallelujah we know that the world is under deception beloved i want to read first from the book of mark chapter 4 i will read from verse 22 the word of god says for there is nothing hid which shall not be manifested neither was anything kept secret but that it should come abroad. Praise the name of the Lord. Again, the word of God says in the book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 22, it says, he revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth in him. Our father is all knowing, beloved, all present and all powerful. Praise the name of the Lord. So I want to share with you, beloved, what was revealed to me. This I was told. It started in a vision. In this vision, I saw, uh, I was looking at a, a QR code scan, you know, even as I'm showing you there. I was looking at it and I was wondering why I was looking at it. So while I was just wondering why I was looking at it, then I was told that I should focus. So I kept looking at it and I was told again that I must focus. Then I really focused on looking, you know, on that scan. I was just, my eyes were just gazed on it, you know. And then the third time again, I was told that I must focus. That is when I saw numbers started appearing, you know, they were appearing. And I was trying to grab those numbers. And each time when I was trying to grab the numbers, they were disappearing. It's like they were changing. It's like they were changing. So I was then told that those scanners are not innocent. Those codes, beloved, there is a communication inside them. So we should not be surprised, beloved, when our father is forbidding us from so many things. It is for our own good and our own protection. There were so many numbers inside there. So those numbers kept on changing. There were not many in number, I mean, in terms of... Uh, uh like many numbers inside i'm saying many in terms of they kept changing so maybe numbers were six inside so it became impossible for me to remember because as i was rehearsing then the numbers will change there were six numbers inside then that's when i was told that those qr scans they are not innocent they it's a communication beloved so that's why I say everything is a trap. We need to hold on to our father, beloved. Only him, he will help us to get out of this world. He will help us on how to keep our garments clean. And I know those uh, QR codes are used in so many places these days. They will say, just scan this code and, you know, things will happen. So, beloved, let us stay away from it. We can see that the technology is advancing each and every day. And we are going further deep into sin. We are defiling ourselves further and further. That is why as we are waiting our Father to guide us, beloved, on certain things that we are using as necessities, we are not supposed to go deeper 
into this technology because it's a trap praise the name of the lord so let us not use beloved those uh, QR scanners. I've seen it in so many places where they are telling us that just scan. So that I was told audibly, beloved. Let us stay away from them. And I want to share again, beloved, another vision that left me perplexed. This is about appliances that we are using in our dwelling on daily basis. I remember that vision very well. It was in the morning. And during that time, we were having load shedding here in South Africa, power cuts. So in that vision, it's like it started when uh, the power was off. I woke up and the power, there was no power. So all of a sudden, you know, the power came back. And my body started vibrating, you know. I don't know, it's like if you have ever experienced spiritual paralysis, how, how you know, how you will struggle. You don't know what to do, you know. It's like you are willing to do certain things, but you don't have the strength. So my body was like that. Then it was vibrating. I couldn't control it. And then I was wondering, what is happening? Why am I going through this? So then that is when it was revealed to me, beloved, that all these appliances in our homes, that's how they affect our bodies. You know, those frequencies that I said, even electricity, it releases frequency, though it's not high. We live inside the dwellings where there are fridges, microwaves, you know, so many appliances that we are using. So they are affecting our bodies, beloved, because God did not create our bodies to survive on those frequencies. You remember Paul said to the church in Corinth in his second epistle that he feared for them, that the same way that the devil deceived Eve, he will deceive them. He will take them away from the simplicity of Christ. God created us to live in simplicity, beloved. Not all these gases that we are inhaling on daily basis, all the fumes. Uh, just the other day, he was showing me again the gas stoves, the fumes, the danger that they are imposing to our health on daily basis. So imagine, beloved, all those appliances that we are using inside our homes, they are working against our bodies. Praise the name of the Lord. That is the reality, beloved. That's why our lifespan is so short. That's why we are suffering with sicknesses and diseases. It's not a matter of people saying, oh, you know, she's saying, don't use this, use that, everything is a sin, all this and that. We have to understand what our father is teaching us. How he is revealing the deception of the enemy over the years, beloved, of things that we thought they were helping us or they were making our lives easy. They are convenient. But underneath, beloved, it is all deception of the enemy. Be it food, be it appliances, think about it. Medication, I will share again what Father revealed concerning pharmaceutical drugs. So for this video, beloved, those are the two things that I want to share with you. Let us remain wise. The devil hates us, beloved. And his mission, we have to remember every day, is to steal, to murder, and to destroy he wants to send souls to hell as early as possible because he do not want them to repent and know the truth and be set free, beloved, from all this nest. Praise the name of the Lord. All these idols, beloved, that we are holding on to, the word of God says they are as near to us. That's what the word of God says. So that's it, beloved, for this message. Stay blessed. I love you all as we continue to obey. Bye-bye.